layout can both be the easiest and the trickiest facets of web design. The 10 layouts that I will present to you should be good enough to get you through the worst cases of designer's block whenever you can't figure out the best way to arrange your content on your page. Page layout is equal parts science and art. Creating something that's visually attractive and original takes an artistic eye. However, there are several easy to follow guidelines that you can use to create solid layouts that work for any number of cases. An artist should not only be creative, but wise and also efficient. Great looking websites often use layouts that are fairly simple and not the least bit unique. It is true that pages we designers praise at the most are often from the peculiar sites that break the mold. But your average user just wants something that is usable, easy, and visually pleasing. In this lecture, we're going to take a look on at least 10 commonly used layouts that you can find on numerous sites across the web. Try and notice that the way these sites are styled, the color they use, the graphics and the fonts are unique, but the basic structure of the sites themselves are all based on tried and tested methods for laying out a web page. We'll focus on this by first showing you the simple templates of the layout so that you can formulate your own thoughts and designs onto it creatively. Then we'll follow it up with examples of real sites that use this layout. If you're a web designer, Remember that each of the following layouts represent the basic templates for you to mold and modify. I encourage you to not use them as it is, but put your artistic style into it. Mold your creativity into the template, whichever you see fit. Your discretion is also key to your success. Let us begin with the most basic of layouts. The tree box layout is probably the simplest of all the layouts. In fact, You'll wonder to think that it is far too simple to ever fit your own needs. If this is the case, you'll be surprised if you really put some sufficient thought into how flexible the arrangement really is. The tree box layout features one main graphic area followed by two smaller boxes below it. Each of these can be filled with a graphic box or text or a mixture of both, capable of showcasing as much content as you want. The smaller rectangular shapes along the top are areas that can be used for logos, company names, navigation bars, search bars, and any other informational and functional content typically found on a website. On this sample, here we see a great implementation of the tree box layout in this website portfolio. As suggested above, the primary graphic rotates and displays a number of websites recent projects. Simple, effective, and attractive, you can probably pull off a full live web page on this layout within an hour. Next is the 3D screenshot layout. As designers push forward to create endless collection of web and apps, the 3D screenshot layout seen here is becoming more and more popular. The basic concept is to place on top of your page a headline and then add a stylized preview of your application. Then often comes with reflections, heavy shadows, big background graphics, or even complex effects, but the core idea is always really simple. Next on our list of interesting layouts is the advanced grid layout. Many of the layouts that you'll see follow a pretty strict grid alignment, however, for the most part, they don't simply suggest a page full of uniform thumbnails. For instance, the layout below mixes the sizes of images to avoid redundancy. As with the tree box example, there's one primary graphic heading up the page. This is followed by a simple twist on the idea of a uniform grid of thumbnails. As with the tree boxes example, there's one primary graphic heading up the page. This is followed by a simple twist on the idea of a uniform grid of thumbnails. The space would allow for a span of four squares horizontally, but instead 
we've combined the first two areas so that the left half of the page differs from the right. As we mentioned with the first layout, the blocks don't have to be images. For example, you can imagine this as blocks of text on the left flanking square images on the right. In the gorgeous example as shown, this layout is used for a children's clothing website. Notice that near the bottom of the alignment, there are switched things up fewer even further. Another great example of a great web layout, but simple in nature, is a featured graphics. In case that you don't have that much content for a web page, in case that you don't have that much content for a web page, so what do you do if you want to showcase one icon, photo, or perhaps even a symbol such as an ampersand? The layout shown is a super simple and very easy solution that is quite popular and reads very well due to the lack of distractions. The end result is a bold yet minimal and clean web page. The statement it makes is strong and impossible to miss. Just make sure your graphic or your image is good enough to be featured so prominently. Just how common is this layout? A lot more common than you could possibly imagine. Moving on to our next layout is the five box layout. The five box layout is simply a slight modification of the three box layout. All of the same logic applies or the structure. It's just been modified to hold even more content. It could easily be four boxes as well. It just depends on what you want to showcase. It also makes it seem that you put a little more effort into the design. Obviously, as you add to the layout, the secondary items become smaller and smaller. So for most uses, five boxes is probably going to approach the limit. Visibility of the products and info is still considered to avoid the straining of the user's eyes. Similar to the tree box layout, this one is so versatile that it can literally be used on just about any variety of sites. Ideas for switching up include adding a large background graphic, rounding the corners, adding shadows or even reflections, or perhaps even adding an interactive element to the smaller thumbnails. You could easily add in buttons that cause them to scroll horizontally. This drives home the argument that using one of these layouts in this won't compromise your creative freedom. Once you've arranged the content, there's still plenty to be done in the area of aesthetics. We'll further explore more about the remaining web templates on the next lecture.